Austin, what are we gonna draw today? Rhino. Yeah, a rhino with two big horns? Yeah. <laughs> All right, our friends, we hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. This art activity is for young artists, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna keep it really simple. We're gonna use simple shapes and simple lines. It's gonna be really short, okay? Yeah. You gonna follow along? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, little man, we got our markers. Our art friends can use other things like pencils or crayons, right? Yeah. You don't have to use a marker. We're gonna using Sharpies, which are kind of dangerous for young artists, yeah. but we're gonna be really careful, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so the first shape, we're going to draw our rhino's head and it's going to be an oval shape, okay? Oh, that's a funny oval shape, huh? We're going to draw that right here. Do point. Oh, a point? That's where we're going to start. Start right there and draw an oval that comes around back to that point. Oh, that's a big head. I like it. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw his big horns, okay? So we're gonna draw a big curve that comes all the way up like that. So we can draw up. Good. Let's pull your sleeves up. That'll be a little easier, huh? All right, okay, now for the next step, we're gonna draw a curve line that comes down for his horn. So there's his first horn. Yes, and then we're gonna draw another horn that's smaller right next to it. Up and then back down. Good job, I like your rhino, he's looking cool. Okay, now let's draw his eye. And I'm gonna draw a pretty big eye and draw a circle right in the middle. Good. And then we can color it in and I'm gonna color everything except for a little white circle in there. And, and our art friends at home, they don't have to draw the white circle, they could just color the whole thing in if it's a little too hard. Good job, Austin. I like it. Okay, now we need to draw a smile. So let's draw a curved line and then a little cheek line. Good. <laughs> and then a little cheek line. Good. And then he's, rhinos have nostrils. So let's draw a little dot right there for his nostril. Draw over here. Good job. Good, Austin. <laughs> Okay, now rhinos have ears and he's missing his ears. So let's draw a little M. Up, down, up, down for his ears. Okay? And then you can make it kind of little. Up, down, and then back up and back down. Good. What letter is that? M. Yeah, an M. Good. Now what's he missing? Um his body? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna draw another oval, but we're not gonna draw the whole thing. So we're gonna start right here, and then we're gonna come around like this, and then back in for his body. So we're gonna start right here, come all the way around, and then back in right by his ears. So start there and end there. Oh, it's big, I like it. Good job. <laughs> okay, now let's draw his legs. So we're gonna draw a box. We're gonna draw, two, or let's draw two lines next to each other, okay? So draw one that comes out here, and then one that comes out here. Oh good, you're gonna draw the whole box, I like it. And then back up. Yes, good. And then we're gonna, so I'm gonna connect mine, and then I'm gonna draw, draw a line right in the middle to split them so he has two front legs. That's nice and easy, huh? Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing. This time, I'm not gonna draw dots for you, okay? Can you do it by yourself? Yeah. So we're gonna draw a box on the back of his body for his feet back here. Down, over, and then back up. Good job. You and there we, what? Said back up. Back up? <laughs> <laughs> like go backwards? Uh -huh. Okay, now we're going to draw a line right in the middle, and you know, you could draw another one over here. You could draw his other leg so that they're the same size as his front legs. Good. What's he missing now? His... What's back here? Tail. Yeah, his tail. <laughs> so let's draw a little line that curves up. 
Yeah. And then we're going to draw a little U on the end. <laughs> Good. And then we can connect them. There's his tail. It looks like a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Austin, did you have fun? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. Should we color them? Yeah. All right, let's get our colors. All right, Austin, we're going to use oil pastels to color our rhino. And we're going to use a light gray, a dark gray, and a pink to color him in. Yeah. And we're going to fast forward everything, okay? Yeah. You ready to start? Yeah. Let's do it right now. Now. Good job, Austin. The last step is we took our black and we went back over because the gray kind of covered up the black marks, right? Yeah. The black lines. Did you have fun? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. Give me five. Oh, lots of them. We hope you guys had a lot of fun too. Remember, this activity is meant to be short and easy for young artists. You promise you had fun? Yeah. What are you doing? Are you a rhino? <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye. I've never seen a rhino wave goodbye like that. <laughs>